Well, good Tuesday morning to you, Gate City. Hope you're having a great day today. Hey, in our men's study this morning, we were looking at Galatians chapter 6, and, and there's some uh, really good challenges in there as far as uh, our uh, responsibility to one another, the love that we have for one another, how we really need each other. And then there's this one verse that we've read before, but it's not often read with uh, this verse that follows it. And it's Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, and it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. And we all know how easy it is at times to get tired of... Um, working with someone, reaching into their life, helping them. If we get weary because we feel like we're not making any progress and we sometimes struggle to continue on or we feel like we want to give up. And, you know, the first part talks about not giving up because in due time, God will reap a harvest as long as we're continuing to do what he wants. But the second part is what I want you to think about. Because we shouldn't give up and because a harvest is coming, because God will do what God's going to do, Every time we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who are part of the family of God. And I think uh, as we talked on Sunday about the busyness of life and having to get a little quiet, sometimes it's tough to quiet ourselves down enough to see the needs in other people's lives. So today I just want to challenge you. Uh, set down the busyness of life, but pay attention to those around you those who might need your help, those you might be able to reach out to and, and strengthen or encourage or challenge, uh, people that, that need us that may not be asking for help, but we see that they need our help. Uh, God says, don't become weary in doing those kinds of things, especially for the family of God. So if you know a brother or sister in Christ who's struggling and you can reach into their life and help them today, do that. In fact, this morning I had a member text me and ask if they could pray for me. And I was so blessed by that and encouraged by it because, yeah, we could all use prayer at times. Let us be like that towards each other on a daily basis as God grows the family of God in and through us. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.